Good morning. Well, that was synchronised. I know, I was reading all the comments. I was like, oh, having a little chin wag. Good morning. Happy Friday. It's Friday. <laughs> Right, welcome guys, day nine, obviously, thank you so much to those of you that are live, um, but we do know that a lot of you catch up, so um, yeah. welcome to you too, good day, whatever time you do it. Yeah, happy Friday guys, we made it through another week, another tough week as well. Today is your fitness Friday, it is your HIIT workout, no equipment needed, just you, yourself, me and Ray have had extra coffee, um, we are aching do you know what's aching me right under here like yes. hamstrings um so yeah it is your fitness friday and i'm gonna go even faster today because i'm a little bit lighter the hair is shaved oh wow a little gone. bit lighter got the no beard no hair on the head oh, so i'm ready he's ready to go um, so before we get warm, yeah, everyone's sore, love it. We can all be sore together. Before we get warm, if you can like the video, you know what to do. And if you can't do it, you can do it at the end anyway. Um, if you've got a fitness watch, let's turn it on and let's get nice and sweaty. Let's get warm. I mean, we are hot already, but uh, it's very hot in this house. Oh, yeah, it's very hot in this house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do not skip this part if you are watching on catch up. If you are live, you cannot skip it because you can't no. fast forward a live stream. Oh, you know. Right, let's get talking on the spot. Okay. So we've lived in our house for five years this year and we've never really known how to use the heating. It just we moved in in August and it was obviously hot, so we didn't need it on. And then all of a sudden it got to like October and it was freezing and we were like, oh we need the heating on. So Ray went up in the loft, into your house and walked out. He pressed a button and was like, oh, it come on. Oh, I didn't press a button, I watched a YouTube video. You watched a YouTube video and then it was hot. But we live in a cottage and it was like, it gets really hot, like really quickly upstairs. So all year we're forever like, I say we, Ray's forever up and down, like turning this thing on and off. Anyway, our boiler, we had issues with our boiler last week. Um, just because it was that week where everything wants to go wrong and it went wrong and we had these lovely guys come round and fix our boiler and he was like where's your thermostat <laughs> and uh, Ray was like it's down here but we don't know how to use it we just flick it right on my leg and anyway you press the button but <laughs> it's now really hot in my house it is I'm sweating are you sweating <laughs> I've done a couple of pants and wall caps and I'm soaked <laughs> we went to bed last night and was like Jesus Christ do you know what? I'm gonna get back up there and off. I'm gonna figure it out. <laughs> it's around the guys. And Scott, bro. But the heating did stop working a couple of months ago, and I was like, I was gonna call someone out then. And then I found I found the thermostat, and then I it had no screen on it, so I changed the batteries, and voila, the heating voila. started working. So the thermostat batteries went, and then the heating it stopped, but. I don't know if all heating systems are like this, but... The man did say yesterday it's not a very good one. Like that thermostat. Yeah, but it's a combi, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Anyway. Anyway, guys. Um, it's better than being cold, right? You learn something new every day, right? Yeah. That's what they say. Good. Any yeah. tight lunches? Five years in, we're going to figure this heating out. We're going to figure it out. We're going to sort it out. I'm soaked. God dear. Maybe you're having hot flushes. <laughs> oh, I'm 33 this year. <laughs> I'm 33 this year. Yeah, I know. In time need. I'm oh, 23. I'm 33 already. No, it's 83 this year. Okay. Shake it off. Yep. 33 and 28. Spring chickens. Bald. Stop it. Right, all Okay guys, so um, from the wonderful feedback that we got last week, we thought that we would bring back the traditional um, boot camp section, Tabata section, ab section, okay? So you've got three distinct sections Hit in today. Hit Tabata abs. Hit Tabata abs, yeah. Yeah. Uh, three distinct sections for your Fitness Friday. Um, the first section, you've got five exercises repeated three times. No! That's a minute per exercise with only 10 seconds transition between each one. Um, yes, we do repeat it three times, and no, you can't get out of it. 
Um, um, yes, you're going to be sweating. Yes, you're going to be sweating. And no, you can't get out of it. Yeah. I already and, said that, didn't I? And then once we've done our 15 minutes of hit, we go into our um, Tabata section, which is eight minutes without stopping. And then we finish with a lovely little ab circuit. And I actually think that you're really, really, really going to like today's Tabata. Because who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? Something to look forward to, guys. Yeah, right. right. First exercise, we are on the floor. We are doing spider climbers, okay? So in that high plank position, one leg at a time coming round, okay? Low impact, you can do it one leg at a time nice and slow, or you can do plank knee tucks where you drive the knee forward and back. Just like my nice assistant is showing you right now. Okay. Right, 10 seconds, 15 minutes of sweat. Let's do it, 60-10 work rest ratio. Like always, if you need extra rest, then please take it. But First 15 minutes coming at you, bang, bang, bang. Ready? Go. What a way to start. Oh yeah. How many people swear when it's like that? <laughs> Not them spider climbers. At least we're getting over and done with the first exercise. What more we got though? Go on. Stay with it, you're halfway already. Jacks, guys. One hand, one leg, opposite leg forward, and we're going to swap. Oh, right, love that, follow me. Okay, step back and up. Sorry, my legs are hurting. <laughs> I'm really hot. George, I'm sweaty. <laughs> Lena, you're not hot next time. I'm okay? really hot. Oh. It's a pressure. Oh. I feel like my mum. Having a hot flush. No, it's, it's too hot in it. <laughs> I'm gonna get up in that loft and sort it out. <laughs> All right, the is nice one. My mum's one of them people where well, she's she's probably doing this. Um, she's hot, and then like five minutes later she's freezing, and then she closes all the windows. Jill, I've never been hot in your mum and dad's house. <laughs> My mum and dad's house is freezing. Every time I go there, I take me slippers. Because <laughs> she has everything open. And she walks around the house with her g lay on. That is not normal, is it? Because she was like, what, I like being cosy. Stop. <laughs> Switch squats. Okay. Can't talk. Low impact. Squats. Nice breeze. Yeah. <laughs> Still laughing. Yeah. I don't know if we made for this adult life, right? <laughs> I don't know, we've sorted it out now. We've figured it out. All these things. Halfway. Now, do you know what it is, guys? In all honesty, Jordan and I. We're very goal orientated people. And when there's something that we want to achieve, we'll just go all out towards it. And sometimes along that journey, other basic maintenance jobs, like a garden and watering plants, and like a house that gets too hot, <laughs> like it just gets. Oh, I'm stuck. Sometimes on the it floor. gets brushed underneath the carpet, which isn't what? good. No. Right, on the floor, plank deck, donkey okay. kick, combo. Uh in this high plank position, plank, jack, donkey kick. Lovely, low yeah. impact here, in the plank position, one leg at a time, stepping out. Come 
Okay, six running mans here. Two, three, four, five, six. We're going to have for a birthday. Okay. Just thought we'd mix it up a bit. Larry Pat, follow me. Six high knees. One squat, okay? Okay. Like I said though guys, is we uh, we might lose track on those things, but you know, you have to be, to become successful, you have to be compassionate for the way other people think, because some people are not going to think the same way you think, um, they're not going to prioritise things the way you would, people are not going to understand your, your methods and your ways, and you just have to realise that, that not everyone's going to look at something the same way as you are, and we're back to the beginning, spider climbers, okay? Oh, I think you're fine. So some of you are probably going, how can you not know what your heating does? How can you not water your plants, but... On the floor, low impact, one leg at a time, or you've got plank knee tucks, okay? But you have to understand that everyone's got a different way of thinking, and... Uh, everyone's priorities are different. And you have to understand that, you have to understand that people And you can't convince someone to understand your way of thinking. This is not going to work. Everyone has their own way. But the most successful people have compassion and they understand that. 20 seconds. you can just get it and if we wrote a book or had a channel and it said hang on stop switch squats low impact normal squats okay I'll tell you the rest in a minute very valid though very good point Woo. Go. Um, if we named our channel the one workout to fat loss so many people will be like, oh my god, I need to do that workout. I'm going to lose fat. If we named our channel the 100 workouts for fat loss, not many people would do it because they'd rather do the one workout for fat loss because they want things quickly. But if you plant a seed, you don't go and dig it up to see how quickly it's grown or if it's not grown overnight, do you? You've got to let it water and grow with time. Just like you, just like your life, whether it be work, whether it be relationship, whether it be fitness, everything requires patience and time. If anything happens quickly, it's likely to crumble as quick as you got it. So, success in your own world, Thank success you. could be success with your fitness goals, it takes time, patience. We also have the uh, courage to take that leap. Thanks, Jax. But what I'm saying is, 
we're not just talking about success in business, we're talking about success in every element. Your own success in your transformations. Come on. Halfway. Feet. Running man times Ooh. six, one burpee. Blowing hat, six honeys, one squat, okay? Go. Come on. Oh, me, I know. I've got a very happy issue. about success we're talking about your own level of success that's what I just said I know I just wanted to reinforce that because a lot of people stop they base success on what they see with other people on Instagram that is not success that is comparing okay you need to be a better person than you was spider climbers don't compare your success to someone else I know. because most of what you see on Instagram that's not success that's that's beating yourself up. That's beating yourself up. Trust me. Come on. Oh, I think these are the worst ones out of the fight. Yeah, I know, you should start. Wow, come on, let's get it done with. 30 seconds. Last time. Oh, I'm soaked. Not even at the start yet. Step back. Oh. in there.
30 seconds, halfway. Six running man, one burpee. Oh. Final minute, we'll get a little rest. Go. Total of eight minute work time, okay? But it's 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Okay, we go through each of the four exercises back to back four times. Yeah, okay, so first exercise, we are jump lunging, just for you, Kevin, because your legs are dying. So are ours. <laughs> right, so everyone knows what jump lunges for 20 seconds, low impact. We step back or step forward, or you can pulse on one leg, and then for two rounds, then two rounds, the other leg. 10 seconds, I gave you a cheeky about extra 20 seconds rest then, so you should be ready to go. Okay. Five seconds. Second exercise we'll show you in a second. Three. John will show low impact. Go. Come on, 20 seconds, jump lunges. Just because our legs just need a little blast. A little bit more of a blast. Yeah. Five seconds. Good, on the floor we've got slalom squat across, low impact follow me, we're gonna squat and we're gonna kick. Okay, woo! Everyone else? Let's go, round to the side. Come on. Oh, you've got the 
beautiful tuck jumps. Of course you have. Low impact, follow me. Touch the floor, reach up high. Okay? <laughs> Everyone else, you know what tuck jump is. Come on. 
Come on, two minutes to go. Back to the beginning. Jump lunges. Woo! Three, two, one. Two minutes. Less than ten. Okay, slalom for us, remember low pack squat kick. Go. Come on. Yes. <coughs> yes. Eight seconds. Tuck jumps. No impact, touch the floor, reach the sky, okay? Three. For one minute. Two. Go. Come on. Ten. Keep jumping. Really up. Low impact, four step, last 20 seconds. Oh. Come on guys, is there another channel like this? to go is your ab section so for the bulk of this you get to lay on the floor oh yeah okay so you're almost there please carry on don't quit just yet we don't quit we get to have a little nap now lay down oh wow well. that was a burner again guys you should be very very proud of yourself getting that done that was incredibly difficult obviously yeah. we're abs to finish now which is bang 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 oh. Um, wow. Got another 15 seconds. We're going to go on the floor, obviously, for all three exercises. 30 seconds per exercise with 10 seconds transition between each exercise. And we're going to go for three complete rounds, okay, non stop. Yeah. Which is about six minutes if you've got the time, guys. One second, I'll give you some extra 10 seconds. Alright. What's Jordan getting? A towel off my back. Ah. Got a towel. Uh oh. That's alright. Oh, Okay. Guys, abs to go. Abs to go. Three exercises. First one, we've got sit up claps, okay? So if you're here, sit up, clap as you bring the knee alternating. You can use a bit more momentum, bring your arms behind the head to do the sit up, or you can make it more difficult, just have your heart arms it directly above your head. Oh, hopefully your heart rate's come down a little bit. Okay, are we ready? Yeah, we're ready. Right, sit up, claps. First one, three, two, one. And don't rush it, guys. Make sure you feel the abs crunching. If you can't do a sit up, then just do little crunches. Yeah, a lot of people rush abs. They like they try and do it as fast as they can. But with your core, it's really about the tension and the contraction, mind, muscle. Really try and think about it. Engage the core. Especially if you've had children, it's quite common for your back to take over, so you've really got to think about the core working. Okay, scissors. So hand on your bum, and then we're going to go over and under for 30 seconds. Ready? Okay. I'm ready. Go. Thing is, guys, these ab workouts, yeah, they're great to isolate the abs, but you need to be reducing the body fat, which comes from doing what we just did and obviously controlling the diet as well. But this is going to obviously isolate the abs. What are you saying? What are you, are you saying? trying to tell us? Are you trying to tell us? You're being very noisy today. Are you right? trying to do the commentary now? And take over. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're funny game. Okay, butterfly sit-ups now. So feet together. And we're going to do full sit-up, tap your feet and back down again. Yep. 
It's not a very attractive angle looking at me like this, is it? Just lying there with my legs open. You're ready to try it, boy. Do you know what? I think when you give a birth, you lose kind of. Is it the core? No, it's just when you exercise, you've got to lose some inhibitions. You've got to say, no. Well, I've got the courage, I'm going to lose my inhibitions, and I'm going to go for it. It takes a lot of guts, that, but, you know, if you don't have that courage to just take that step, you don't want to get where you want to get, are you? So, sit up, claps. Got to let it all out. <laughs> let go of them inhibitions, and do it. Right, let's go. Otherwise, you risk staying static for the rest of your life. Who wants to remain static? You want to grow, right? Of course we do. In other news, I think Camelia speaks a different language. Well, she's definitely not, I mean, unless she's copying what we say. I mean, God help us. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, abs are burning. Scissors, guys. Skizzers. Amelia, what language do you speak? Dutch. <laughs> 20 seconds. Oh, we had a really nice message yesterday. A lady messaged us and said, I just want to give a special shout out to your little girl. She's so good how she sits there and plays and lets her mummy and daddy exercise. <laughs> Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. She has been uh, doing it since she was two months old. Yeah, three. Well, three months old. Yeah. We've literally plonked her in the corner. Yeah. We're bad, aren't we? I think that she, uh, she... She knows it, I think. I reckon if someone said to her, bus, bus, up. if someone said, what's your life like? She was like, well, I'll get up and then I have to sit in the corner in a pen and watch my mum and dad jump around. They put the laptop on and they force me my meal <laughs> and then they make me wait. 35 minutes. To have my breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> but I like. Yes! Well, do you know what? If it's building resilience in your little soul, then daddy's going to be very happy and proud. Yeah. Because you're not going to be no little butterfly, are you? You said it was a snowflake. Snowflake? I like butterflies. No, but nothing too delicate. You've got to be strong, darling. Right. Okay, sit up, claps, last round. I like butterflies, they're a symbol. I meant, I meant snowflake. Yeah. Now we're going to teach her to have a little bit of guts and glory, you know? Uh, but she, she is good, but I do think it's because we've been doing it since she was three months old that she kind of doesn't know any different. Uh, come on, keep going. Ah, uh, ten seconds. We've, we've had our moments though. If you look back over the months, we've had some tantrums. We've had some poo-poos. We've had poo-poos. Oh. That is really burning. Skizzers. Oh, it's a good free today. How have you run? Girl, when you're older, Amelia, mum and daddy are going to tell you about the lockdown of 2020. She can watch it on YouTube. <laughs> and she's going to go, whoa, what? You had to stay in your house. That's mad. <laughs> Aren't you? All the kids are going to learn. It's going to be like... It's going to be a history lesson, history. isn't it? Yeah. You can learn about us in history. Ten seconds. I didn't like history. Oh. I was really, really bad. I wasn't very good, I should say, at geography and history. You remember all your dates, though, don't you? I'm really good with... I've got this really weird thing with numbers. I know... You can't add them and subtract and multiply them, but you can remember them. Sounds really weird, but anyone I went to primary school with, I know all their birthdays, phone numbers, what, just primary school? Well, and secondary school, I can remember. But I'm just really weird with dates, like I really remember dates, phone numbers and number plates. Like, if someone tells me their number plate... You'd be a good detective, you I'd, would. I'd be a really good detective, actually. If, you, if your PC career fails, you know what you can do. Yeah, so, but no why, but numbers and, like, memory, I'm really quite good at. Well done, everyone. But like you say, maths, not my strong subject. What, I stripped your mouth that? Um, and geography. Don't talk to me about geography because I'll, I'll give you the directions to Magaluf when you're meant to be in Porto Palenza. We did it though. We did it though. Right, so that was your last full week of live workouts on this channel. Not to say we'll never be back oh. in the future, um, particularly if we get locked down again. 
Oh uh, no, don't say that. Can't say that. No, we're Touch not. wood. Touch wood. Oh, we're going to manifest hope. No, this hope. is wood. This is wood. That's, sorry, that's laminate. This is wood. Oh, do that. <laughs> Right, thank you so much guys, that was your final four week of live workouts. Like Ray said, it's not forever, we could be back for four weeks as well, but we've got a really open our gym and kickstart after being shut for so long. So we will be back Monday, Wednesday and Friday, okay? We will announce everything on our socials, so keep an eye out, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Um, and yeah, like, subscribe, tag away, keep sharing the videos, and I must say, we can only stay if you keep sharing and supporting us. So the like, the subscribes, it, honestly, it goes so far. So please keep doing it, okay? Um, and yeah, have a lovely weekend. Are we going to stretch, aren't we? Are we going to stretch, yeah. I was going to say bye, but we're going to stretch. Yes, guys, as always, we much appreciate the support on this channel. But do remember, this is a channel where we offer free workouts to follow along. Um, Obviously, we get ad revenue, but if we, told, if we told you how much we earn in ad revenue, it'd be very, very surprised. We surprising. told them, it's like a pea, a penny. But listen, for us to continue to do this and not charge for this service, we need your full support, okay? Yeah. That's all we ask in return. We get up every morning for you, and all we want is a little like. Is that yeah, all right? A cheeky like. A cheeky like. <laughs> a cheeky like. Everyone's like, get your violin out. Look, guys, let's, let's, look, we don't want you to feel sorry for us because no. obviously there's a reason we're doing these workouts. Obviously, we love to give back. That is the main thing. And do you know what? We actually generally enjoy doing them. <laughs> well, it keeps us accountable to exercising, but if we can push you each time and the lovely messages we get, it makes it, um, it makes it very much worthwhile in our eyes. Definitely. So. And do you know what? We, we never imagined growing the community that we've got and we generally, like, we absolutely love, like you, you get us up every single day, we get you up every single day. We work out with you, we keep ourselves in shape, we keep you in shape. And the community that we've built, local and far, like we have got people, we had someone in Mexico, India, Australia, Belgium. Uh, uh, Peru, yeah, uh, was it uh, Peru or Bolivia? Bolivia, Canada, you're all doing our workouts. Like that is, honestly, That's never, insane. never ever imagined doing that. So. There's the reason why we get up, so we can spread our wings and help as many of you as we can, all through the internet. How amazing uh, is that? I honestly think that in 10 years' time, particularly 10 years' time, because people look at life in decades, don't they, generally, I think people got to go 10 years ago, that was when we went through coronavirus, or at least the start of it, um, why didn't I do something online back then? Because I think in 10 years' time, pe people, are going to be online, you know, products, services. Well, I think in 10 years' time, if you didn't jump on that back then, I think there might be... Um, well, you said it's the Gen Tech, didn't you? Uh, Gen Z. Gen Z. The different... different uh, what are we? We're the millennials. We're millennials, yeah. But like, I, I seriously think in 10 years' time, people are going to look back and they're going to go, why didn't I set something up back then? You know, because, you know, you've got to look, look at the, the long-term... <laughs> The long term, like you know, what's happening now, things are changing. It's a digitalized world now, and you know, I just think that Price time. there may be some regrets if you don't. Like, time. Some people say, Oh, I really like you know, like makeup artists, you know, setting up a makeup tutorial. Oh, but everyone's done that. Oh, I'm a bit late, it's too much competition. Never too late, it's never too late, just do it. Just do it. In 10 years' time, we'll look back, you could have 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. Never too late. You know, so... Never too be, old, never too late. Have the courage to take the step, guys. Mm. So it's a lot of courage that you, you need to do to, to go into the unknown and the fear, but you need to... Uh, if you don't try, if you fail, then you learn, right? You do. Do you know what? I'm proud of you. Right. I used to be so introverted. Oh, I just kept myself to myself. And now you're like, you're like such a positive... But I would say that a, a younger Ray was very much determined on his own goals, but until I got to a point where I started giving back, that's when we, I know that we really grew. So um, wow. when we were less focused on ourselves and more about giving, and that's when we really grew. Now, we aren't the most successful people in the world, but we are a lot more successful than we were one year ago, two years ago, three years ago, and it's just little steps along the way. Wow, that hair shave has done some tricks today, hasn't it? I told you, I'm lighter. <laughs>
I can think more. <laughs> and I'm no longer introverted. <laughs> no. no, I still like peace and quiet, so sometimes. <laughs> right, anyway, happy Friday, guys. We hope we've given you something rather than just rambling on. Um, like, subscribe, tag like. Yeah, now, everyone's right? coming now. See ya. <laughs> um, have a lovely weekend and thank you so much for your support as always. We've done six, four months back to back of six. And my calves yeah. really feel it. Yeah. Right, that Ray's lost his hair. <laughs> right, anyway, have a lovely weekend and we'll see you on Monday. Cheers, guys. Bye. Bye.